Hey, good morning, Earth Angels. Brother Gil here. Happy Friday morning. It's raining and wet and sensual here in Dallas, Texas. The uh, song of the rain, the motion and the movement uh, echoing in the air is just fascinating to my soul. I pray that God, as you wash your earth, uh, dissolving the debris that is not healthy for your planet right now, we ask that you do the same in the souls of your people. Help us to understand the power that the rain has upon our spirits if we're open to receive that. Father, I just thank you because today is a day of great unlearning and a restful period in our mind's eye, at least in mine, because you have been working diligently in and through my life to make sure that I accept the truth as it is presented to me, no matter how difficult it may be on the surface, but everything that you uh, take away from our lives. Anything that you move suddenly, I know from experience, is purposely done. So I've begun not to question it, just to discern my attitude about it, my involvement in it, and to accept the truth for what it is. For all I can control, quote unquote, is my own behavior my own uh, 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 desire and purpose for living full out in each day. I pray that you uh, surround all of us in your perfect light of peace and truth, that we find what we need individually, Lord God, to live the best lives we need to live. All my friends, all of them, I don't care about the indifferences, that are taking place. That's between you and them, or you and I. Uh, because when your conscience is clear, Father God, the enemy cannot make you feel guilty about something uh, others have decided to do for what they need. I can't force anyone for that. Do what's right for you. It doesn't change how I feel about you and friendship, but it does allow me to move forward, to move on, to find out what they like for the God and how they like it, and let them have it just that way. That's a choice. We all have them, and we all make them. It doesn't make uh, me a villain or them a villain. It's just the reality that is. I'm old enough to accept that and know that it doesn't stop anything. It adds and enhances things around me as long as I'm open to discernment. My own as well as others, because people are going through today, Lord. We are going through. And so, happy Friday, Earth Angels. If you have to beat yourself, use a feather. You know, you deserve a life that's worthy. I know sometimes we're in places where we feel like crying and all these things. That's okay if that's a reality. But know that there's a flip side to every coin. Have you ever seen a one-sided coin? Sometimes we have to just force that flip so that we can do better in that moment, in that day. Okay, enough of that. Uh, Father, I ask that you give me uh, free my mind now from all of the concerns and let me write some music to just say thank you and celebrate the love and the joy that I'm feeling in this moment. I feel so blessed. I feel strong and motivated. I'm encouraged and I'm not letting anything put a damper on that. That's my portion. That's my peace. That's my love, and I choose to celebrate it. I hope you all do the same. Brother Gil loves you. God loves you, too. Remember to watch Conversation With, and I am creation. It's on the pages now, Facebook and YouTube and different things. I think you will enjoy. And stop by I Am Creation, Stroke Survivor Support Group Dallas, 
and, and join us. If you haven't become a member, please do. I mean, if you feed it. It, it is a site built on love and strength and uh, communal unity. You understand me? So we are healing one day at a time. All those who choose to heal, you are welcome. But if you're stuck in all that other stuff and you're not trying to lift yourself up, all we can do is pray for and with you. That's an effort that has to be made either professionally or in your own choice making, right? I don't think that's being harsh. I'm speaking something that I believe to be true because we make choices as adults. Children, there's a little more tolerance because they're still learning. But us old rusty grown folk, please stop wallowing in your nonsense. Get a grip. If you need help, be open and honest enough with yourself to get that help. But don't be wise in your own conceit. I'm talking to me now, too. That's very prevalent today. People are so wise in their own conceit. To the world, it's just, uh, it's just crazy sometimes. Knowing this, we have a trust to stay above it. And so I choose to rise above it every single day. Y'all pray with a brother uh, and keep each other lifted up as you can. Brother Gil loves you. God loves you too. Bye-bye, y'all. <laughs> Happy Friday.